What's up everyone? I'm Kyle from Driving and Vibing. You're watching Road Gear Reviews. Today we are talking about an easy way to solve your AC woes, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today we are talking all about this refrigerant by Supertech R-134A. Now, if you are anything like us and you have a vehicle that is slightly older, <laughs> um, it's a 2004, it's not that old, but it's getting on up there in the years. And with the summer heat here in Alabama, we were really struggling with maximizing our AC, trying all sorts of options to improve its performance. And today we're gonna be talking about this refrigerant that we most recently used that we did see some good results from. So first and foremost, this is a vehicle refrigerant. Like I said in the intro, the description of the refrigerant is R-134A. From my understanding, this is a pretty common refrigerant that is used in more modern vehicles. Uh, before you use any refrigerant product, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's compliant with your vehicle though. So this is not meant for all vehicles. You can find that information either by searching your make and model online usually or directly from your owner's manual that comes with a vehicle. For us, once we made sure it was the right one, we thought we would try to use this to see if it helps at all. And I have to say, we did see good improvement with it. So this won't be a how-to video, but I will show you how easily we did um, put this in our vehicle. But before we get into that, I'll show you the parts that it comes with. It's pretty much a canister right here with a button on top to release the liquid inside. You'll also see the gauge right here. This will let you know whether your refrigerant is even an issue or not. If this gauge is showing that your refrigerant levels are good, uh, then unfortunately the problem lies elsewhere. And the last piece is this little cap here. It's kind of like a nozzle slash seal, and it is like pressurized. So once you connect it to the vehicle, you're not leaking anywhere, and you're able to put this um, refrigerant directly in. So for us, all we had to do was turn the engine on, put the max AC on. Once we noticed that the clutch was kicked in for that AC compressor, then we were able to measure the system. And all we did to measure the system was remove this simple cap. On, on all vehicles, it's gonna be different, but the process will be simple enough. Once we remove the cap, we put this locking nozzle on it. So then that's whenever we started filling up the refrigerant and we just kept our eye on this gauge to make sure we kept it in a safe zone because you don't want to overfill it. So once all that was taken care of, hop back in the truck and I have to say the AC was blowing colder air more quickly. So that is awesome. Now as far as um, the downsides of this one is uh, this is hard to press and shake at the same time, which it instructs you to do. And this isn't really long or that flexible. So we got this at Walmart. It's not available on Amazon. Honestly, I wouldn't say this is necessarily the one you should go with. Uh, what's more important to me is the refrigerant inside of it. Amazon has a lot of good options that actually has a trigger nozzle, makes it easier to press the button, and it has a longer pipe that lets you get a little more flexibility and play. So whenever you're working inside this engine that's running, you'll have more space to work with it. I'll link the Inner Dynamics AC Pro model in the Amazon description below. Uh, that one has a better uh, trigger for release and a longer tube for easier access. If you don't want to go to Amazon and wait two days to get the package delivered, go to Walmart. That's where we got this one. And uh, it's about 20 bucks. On Amazon, the one with the upgraded features is about 30 bucks. If you got two days and you're not really stressed about getting it, I would recommend getting the one on Amazon just for the easier functionality of it. But overall, this was an awesome piece of road gear. Honestly, one of the most functional pieces of gear we've reviewed in a while as far as it was able to cool down the truck much more significantly in this Alabama heat. Let me know your experience with putting in refrigerant in your own vehicle. Like I said, this isn't a how-to video. I just wanted to let you know our experience with this product, the features that it gave us, its pros and cons. Overall, if you're having AC problems and if it could be a refrigerant level issue, 
give this a look. It's worth the either 20 or 30 bucks. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Remember to hit that subscribe button. We put out one video every week and we'll see you guys next time. Later on.